and what is up guys welcome back to Accelerate Your Sub for another video as you guys know first of all before we jump into the video today we did hit a thousand subscribers yesterday for a brief shining moment before we immediately drop back down to 999 but we hit it for a second there so I guess that's like an an infinite happiness glitch you know you keep hitting a thousand dropping down hitting a thousand again so you get that joy over and over again but uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. But uh, seriously, huge shout out to you guys for getting us up to 1,000 subs. That means the 1,000 subscriber giveaway is coming soon, probably sometime next week, because uh, we have a sales video for today. And then on Friday, we have the second part of the booster pack opening, which I actually did the other day. And uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Let me tell you that much. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into today's video, guys. We have another sales video. These are the sales from October 26th through November 8th. So if you made a purchase in that range, it will probably be in this sales video. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Next up, we sold another lot. This one had 12 cards in it, and it was Vector Magnesium, Pulse Emitter, Hyper Drift Tech, Poly Alloy Wheels, Sweepers, Pack Mimic, RDO 6 Version 2, Pick a Line, The Canyon Realm, Hyper Spectite, a Foil RDO 2 Version 2. Only have one of these left, so get it while you can if you're missing it. And my last copy of Home Track Advantage for the moment. Total on this order was $80 even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Next up, we had another, yet another lot of cards, 10 new Mint cards. Flip through them again. Wheel Shield, Vector Nitrium, Second Wind O2 Tank, Aero Package, Dual Driller Hyperpod, Escher's World, Simulator Run, Wrecking Balls, Frictionless, and my last copy of the Storm Realm at the moment. Such a cool Realm card. Almost as cool as the Realm in the movie itself. Total on this order was $44 even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. And then finally, the last order of the day was two loose mint cars, which were a Black Hood Riveted and a gorgeous, gorgeous CM5 Spine Buster with the Chrome Spoiler. This Spine Buster, guys, absolutely gorgeous. Total on this order was $43 even to another return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. All right, next up, we sold a lot of three Acceleracers loose mint cars, which were a CM6 Anthracite, a CM6 Iridium, and a CM6 Battle Spec. I opened a Battle Spec and uh, it sold just about immediately. This was my second to last Iridium and I think my third to last Anthracite. These Sounders vehicles are going pretty quickly. Total on this order was $67 even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold a whole bunch of silencers. It was a CM6 Excellium, a CM6 Metalloid, CM6 Anthracite, down to my last one of those, a CM6 Nitrum, which I think I have one or two more left, CM6 Octanium, and my last CM6 Iridium for the moment. What a beautiful, beautiful array of cars, guys. Total on this order was $103 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy your fleet of silencers. And continuing on, we sold another lot of three Acceleracers cars. These were all in lightly worn condition and none of them rolled smoothly. Um, well, I think they do actually roll more or less, but uh, the RDO 6 and the baseline kept shooting off in different directions as I was rolling them. And I know the Iridium has a wheel that doesn't roll. So it sold them for a bit of a discount. Total on this order was $16 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, next up, we sold a lot of seven Near Mint Accelerators cards, which were all Realm cards. These Realm cards just disappearing. It was a copy of the Wind Realm, the Warped Realm, the Ruins Realm, the Solar Realm, the Cliffside Realm, the Canyon Realm, and the Chrome Realm. Total on this order was $44, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And the next up, we sold four Accelerators McDonald's Edition cars that were all in heavily played condition. They were all pretty beat up. Well, honestly, you know what? This Synchro honestly isn't in all that bad a condition. It's got a little bit of wear on the stickers. But uh, anyway, sold these for pretty cheap. Don't have much use for these McDonald's cars, and I have like 20 of them laying around right now. But the total on this order was $9, even to a new buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And last purchase of the day was this Gen 2 Anthracite. I only have two of these left, so get them while you can if you are missing them. Definitely one of the cooler cars. Love the body style and all these Excel charged cars, how it's see-through. Total on this order was $43, even to a new buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy all right, moving on with the accelerators for sales, we sold another lot of nine near mint to mint cards, which were Magnetic Bounce, that's my last copy of Magnetic Bounce, Grappler Claw, Pick a Line, All or Nothing, my second to last copy of Dragon Torch, Blown Hydrant, Folding Corners, Reaction Time, and the only copy of Fog Vision that I had in stock gone again. Total on this order was $61, even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next, we sold another lot of five near mint accelerators cards, which were Rolling Thunder, Ratified, Spine Buster. I only have two or three copies of Spine Buster left. At one point I had like 30. I don't know what the sudden rush on Spine Buster cards is, 
but it is crazy. Next up, we sold my only copy of Pile Driver. Definitely one of the harder vehicle cards to find that's not a foil. Pile Driver, Octanium, uh, Reverb, definitely some really tough ones to find. And then we sold a heavily played copy of Torqued Powerbomb Foil. As you can see, there's some scuffing on the hollow there. Total on this order was $61 even as well to a new buyer, I believe. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully, Next up, we sold my last set of the starter set exclusive cards. These were all in lightly played to heavily played condition and uh, out of stock on these completely now. Or actually, I might have one near mint copy left of RDO 3 Plus. If I, It's either RDO 3 Plus or RDO 9 Plus. But the total on this order is $22 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold two Loose Mint Accelerators cars, which were my last Octanium for the moment and a CM6 Nitrium. Total on this order was, let me double check here, $33 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then the last order of the day was two more Loose Mint cars, a CM5 Black Hood Riveted and a CM6 Baseline. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cars. There's something about a crisp mint baseline that is just beautiful. Total on this order was... $39 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. All right, moving on. We sold a bunch of Loose Man cars today. First up, we had an order of four Loose Man cars, which were a CM6 ratified, a gorgeous CM6 satin hollowback, a gorgeous CM5 satin hollowback. Gotta love the double satins there. And a CM6 RDO6. Total on this order was $47 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold two more Loose Man cars, which were a CM6 Excellium and a CM6 Baseline to a return buyer. Total on this order was $38 even, so thanks for that purchase. Next up, four more Loose Mint cars, a CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech, a CM6 Black Wing Synchro, my last purple Spine Buster for the moment, and a CM5 Power Bomb. Total on this order was $54 even to another new buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Moving on, we sold a lot of 14 Near Mint to Mint Accelerator cards, or actually, excuse me, it was 15 Near Mint to Mint cards and one heavily played card. So let's flip through real quick. It was a copy of RDO 3, RDO 5 version 2, RDO 8 version 2, my last copy of RDO 2, RD 10 version 2, RDO 7, RD 10, RDO 6 version 2, RDO 6, RDO 4, RDO 1, a heavily played copy of RDO 5 is the only RDO 5 I had in stock, then a copy of the Fog Realm, this was my last copy of the Fog Realm, then the Micro Realm, I only have one or two more copies of the Micro Realm left in stock. Then a foil RDO1 version two, lots of drone love here. And this is actually pretty rare to find an RDO1 version two that does not have a horizontal print line on it. They are like notorious for a print line right across the middle. And then the last card in the order was a foil RDO2 version two. So lots of drone cards moving here. Total on this order was $142, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold two lots of 22 heavily played to lightly played cards, mostly in heavily played condition though. Each of these lots did have a foil included. The first one was an RDO1 version 2, and the second one was a feather frame. And let's see, oh, this one actually didn't have a, a horizontal crease or a horizontal uh, print line on it either. That's interesting. I think the other two near mint ones that I have both have a horizontal crease literally right across the middle. They look like twin cards. But the total on this order was $70, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, next up, we sold three more Loose Mint Accelerators cards, which were a CM6 Jackhammer. CM6 baseline and another CM6 baseline. So two baselines and a jackhammer. Not sure why somebody would want two unless maybe, you know, they're making a custom or something like that. Maybe it's going to be a movie accurate baseline. Who knows? Total on this order was $49 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And even more loose mint cars. We sold a CM6 Octanium, a CM6 RDO6, and a CM6 baseline. Lots of baselines moving. I absolutely cannot keep baselines in stock. It's a good thing I had a bunch of them at one point because, uh, man, you guys are coming after them quickly. Total on this order was $47, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that. Next up, we sold a lot of 24 Near Mint Cement Accelerators cards, which were some uncommons and rares. So we'll flip through them real quick. It was a copy of Lightning Barrage, Undistort, Wrecking Balls, The Warped Realm, The Blizzard Realm, down to my second to last copy, The Frictionless, Anti Gravitation, Choke Valves, Rubbin' is Racing, Bat Swarm, Tweak Box, Hyper Jump, Rock Slide, Mutant Vultures, Sound Buffer. Molten River, Meteor Shower, my last copy of Acceleron Virus, if I remember correctly, Ice Yeti, Scorpion Ambush, Four Wheel Steering, Electric Fry, The Canyon Realm, and Sand Speed to wrap it up. Total on this order was $74 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold another lot of Near Mint cards, which were all mods. Let's flip through them. It was Dual Driller Hyperpod, Poly Alloy Wheels, Camo Skin, Asphalt Anchor, 
Pulse Emitter, Grappler Claw, Mega Base Box, Hyper Beams, and Sweepers. Total on this order was $27, even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And then we sold a lot of seven lightly played to heavily played rare accelerators cards. These were all in a little more beat up condition, including three foils. Let's flip through them real quick. It was a copy of High Voltage, copy of the Cyber Grid Realm, copy of the Cavern Realm, copy of foil vector carbide definitely had a lot of scuffing on it you can see in this angle right here but so if you look at it head on it's honestly not all that visible then a copy of rdo 9 a foil tornado vortex card and a foil shell skin card to wrap it up total on this order was 92 dollars even to a return buyer and longtime subscriber so thanks for that purchase and the last purchase of the day was this near mint copy of chicane this was the last one that i had in stock but i think i just did pull one out of a pack that I opened recently. So I do have another one, it's just not in my inventory yet. But uh, so at least for the moment, last copy of Chicane, total on this order was $29 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold a lot of four more Accelerators Near Man cards, which were Total Traction, two copies of 2D, and my last copy of Foil Tornado Vortex for the moment. Hopefully I can find another one before too long. Such a sweet card right there. It looks like Synchro is getting chased by Nitria maybe, who knows? I'm assuming that's in the wind realm, but the total on this order is $39, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up was a lot of five more near mint to mint accelerators cards, which were mostly Taiku vehicles. We got Battle Spec, Drift Tech, struggling to pick it up here, Power Rage, Hyper Nightlife, and my last copy of Spec Type for the moment. Well, I might have another one that I haven't put into my inventory yet, but uh, at least for the moment on my listing, this is the last copy of Spec Type. Total on this order is $49, even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold two more Gen 2 cars, slowly running out on these. I think I'm down to my last like five or six. We sold the Team Colors Powerbomb, definitely one of the sharpest looking cars in the set. And the Gen 2 Team Colors RDO9. This was the last one that I had of both of these. RDO9, pretty cool, but uh, doesn't trump that Team Colors Powerbomb for me. That's, that's definitely one of the best looking cars in the set. But the total on this order was $99, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed all right, guys, we had a whole pile of loose mint cars sell last night. Let's jump into the orders real quick. First up is an order of six loose mint cars, which were CM5 Powerbomb, CM5 Ratified, CM6 RDO1, definitely a rare drone car, CM6 RDO6, a CM6 RDO9, and the CM6 Cub Light that came out of the Accelodrome track set. So we have a really nice array of cars here, and this actually might be... That might be the power bomb that came out of that track set too. I'm not sure. Maybe they got two of those cars. Uh, that might have been a CM6. I don't remember. But anyways, definitely some rare cars here. RDO9, Cub Light, RDO1. Total on this order was $135, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we sold three more pretty rare loose mint cars, which were a CM6 Metalloid, a CM6 Carbide, and a CM6 Orange Wing Synchro. Definitely not a ton of these uh, loose mint ones floating around in my store. It's uh, fairly rare that I come across one cheap enough to actually open, but the total on this order was $94, even to another return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold a CM5 Ratified and a CM6 Loose Mint Drift Tech, both going out to a return buyer. Total on this order was $23, even, so thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold the Near Mint RDO8 card that we pulled. Uh, it was one of the packs that I opened off camera in that latest pack opening, but definitely one of the rare drone vehicle cards. Um, honestly, I'm not really sure if it or RDO9 is rare, but definitely one of the rares. Total on this order was $28 to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold three loose, very heavily played um, Accelerators cars. Total on this order was $20 even. These all have a ton of wear on them. As you can see, the Power Rage's decals almost completely gone. The Excellium is in pretty beat up shape too. Total on this order is $20 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, so we sold some more Accelerators trading cards last night. First things first, we had a lot of 12 Accelerators cards, which were all mod cards. Tweak Box, Mega Charger, Air Refresher, Aero Package, Engine Elixir, Wheel Shield, Spy Eye, Vector Thrust, Gyro Stabilizer, Second Wind O2 Tank, and then a moderately worn Foil Strato Thruster card and a moderately worn foil nitrox three car. These foil cards are so popular right now. Total on this order was $55, even to a new buyer, so thanks for that. And sort of keeping in the same train of thought, we sold a lot of 36 Accelerator Shift cards. So I'm not sure what's going on with the uh, buying only one type of card, but it is interesting. So we sold a copy of Smooth Driving, Shortcut, Drifting. Then we have two copies of Soundproof, All or Nothing, Hack Mimic, Rev Matching, 
two copies of Dodging Disaster, two copies of Emergency Break, Buckle Up, two copies of Burnout, two copies of Slalom, Pedal to the Metal, Guts, two copies of Endure, or Endure, or whatever, copy of Cornering, two copies of Under the Hood, copy of Draft, Hotwire, two copies of Downshift, two copies of Visor Mask, two copies of Draft and Pass, two copies of Simulator Run, Reaction Time, and a Foil Bootlegger Reverse card. So this might actually be a full set of Shift cards other than Home Track Advantage and Wrong Way. Um, actually, no, because I don't remember seeing a copy of Pick a Line in there. It's an almost complete set, that's for sure, because I think it was 36 total Shift cards, but I think there was like 10 or 12 duplicates, so uh, it's almost a full set of shifts. Total on this order was $90 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up we sold a lot of 10 loose, lightly worn Accelerators cars. They all uh, had minor scuffs and scratches. They look absolutely incredible as a set all laid out. They really do stand out to all the other Hot Wheels in my opinion, just as far as uh, how they look when they're loose and all in a group, they just absolutely pop. So you can see we got Rolling Thunder, Powerbomb, Baseline, Iridium, Black Hood Riveted, then we got Synchro, Anthracite, RDO6, Nitrium, and Orange Wing Drift Tech. Total on this order was $75 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. All right, next up we sold a bunch of Accelerators trading cards. It was, I believe, 18 cards in total. Let's flip through them. It was Anthracite, Hyper Drift Tech, Vector Tech Nedium, Vector Magnesium, Vector Excelium, Metalloid, Torque Jaw Jammer, RDO7, Excelium, RDO4 version 2, RDO2, RDO6 version 2, those were all near mint cards. Then we had six played condition cards, which were Hyper Power Rage, Torqued Flathead Fury, Torqued Hollowback, Hyper High Voltage, Battle Spec, and RDO3 version 2. Definitely some harder to find cards there that I didn't have in near mint condition. Total on this order was $66, even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold four lightly worn silencers vehicles, which were Nitrium, Anthracite, Iridium and Technetium. The uh, Technetium and the Iridium were the two from that last pack opening that we did that had some slight yellowing on the paint. Seems to be pretty common with the Technetiums that I've opened recently, honestly. I'd say probably seven out of 10 of them have that uh, yellowing on them. But the total on this order was $60, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed All right, guys, next up, we had a massive order of Accelerators cards. So let's just go through real quick. It was mostly uncommons and rares. So let's go through real quick. It was the Solar Realm, the Wind Realm, the Ruins Realm and the Water Realm were the four Realm cards that he purchased. I'm out of stock on the Water Realm again now. Then we have nine Excel Charger cards, which are Undistort, Anti-Gravitation, Total Traction, Impervious Tires, Hydroglide, Frictionless, Sand Speed, Sound Buffer, and my only copy of Navigators. We're out of stock on Navigator as well now. Then we had a bunch of vehicle cards, which were Powerbomb, my last copy of Torque Ratified, Vector Technetium, Ratified, Hyper Battle Spec, RDO5 version 2, Hyper Drift Tech, Vector Octanium, RDO7 version 2, Nitrium, Vector Excelium, Jaw Jammer, Vector Magnesium, Metalloid, Iridium, RD10, Anthracite, RDO1, and a foil RDO1 version 2 card, which I only have one of these left in stock, I believe. Then he purchased three moderately worn foil cards, which were RDO2 version 2, Torqued Power Bomb, and Vector Cove Light. So lots of foils and rares moving in this lot. And then he also purchased two lots of 22 heavily played, lightly played cards. One had a Torqued Hollow Back as the main card, and this one had a Battle Spec, I believe, as the rare. But so anyways, a lot of Accelerators trading cards moving. The total on this whole order was $270 even to a return buyer. So thanks so much for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. All right, next up we sold four more Accelerators cards, which were Jaw Jammer, Iridium, my last copy of Chicane for the moment, and my last copy of Spectite. These rare vehicle cards just absolutely disappearing. You guys are going nuts over these Accelerators cards right now. Not really sure when the hype is going to die down around them for a while. I really wasn't selling cards all that well, but the last two or three months have been absolutely insane. Just tons of interest in the accelerators trading cards but the total on this order was 54 dollars, even to a return buyer so thanks for that purchase. and that is going to wrap it up for this video guys hopefully you enjoy seeing some of the items that are moving in and out of my accelerators store um probably that 
probably the time frame from October like 15th to November 20th was probably one of the busiest like 30 day stretches that I've ever had on eBay. Um, I don't know, I guess it was just Hot Wheels Unleashed combined with uh, maybe people buying Christmas presents early. I really have no idea, honestly. It's not, it doesn't really correspond with any holidays. So I don't know what was going on with the sales, but uh, it was definitely awesome. So that's why it was only like 12 or 13 days in this sales video, but we'll get caught up eventually. Like I said, if that, if it ended on November 8th, we're only like three weeks behind now. So maybe in the next sales video, we'll finally be able to fully get caught up, who knows. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video. Be sure to like the sales video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators related content. And I'll see you guys in the pack opening on Friday.